Good morning, Paul. Georgie from Allendale. It's October 10th, Monday morning, and grain markets uh, opening higher here this morning. The uh, prompted by German-French uh, agreement that they need to do something about the uh, financial situation, the bank uh, problems there, they've come to an agreement that has uh, prompted risk-on type trading here from uh, Europe and uh, this morning in the U.S. markets, uh, the uh, that they're supposed to release a more detailed plan by uh, November 3rd uh, here the next G20 meeting. So hopefully that uh, will come to be something solid, other than just uh, talk of uh, and another uh, round of hope that's being uh, circulated in order to stop the slide. So. Uh, Trade is uh, getting very nervous about that, and uh, that is creating a lot of volatility in world stock markets, financial markets, and also in our grain markets. The uh, other news uh, this weekend has been talked uh, a lot about uh, has been the downgrade of debt by uh, uh, Fitch and uh, Moody's of Spain, Italy, the UK. Uh, they've even put uh, Belgium's. Uh, Double A rating uh, on review because of the uh, Dixia Bank situation there. So uh, doesn't look like it's uh, uh, the problem is completely solved or over with yet in Europe. But that has given the trade enough uh, hope that they've uh, bought the euro. It's pressured the dollar. The dollar is down sharply this morning, about 90 points as we speak, and in turn giving strength to uh, grain prices here in the uh, in the U.S. Uh, as far as fundamentals go, we've got uh, the USDA closed today. Uh, it's Columbus Day uh, observation or observance in uh, the uh, uh, banking industry and government agencies. So all weekly reports, the uh, export uh, shipments numbers, the crop conditions and crop progress report that normally out on Monday will come out Tuesday. Export sales will be out on Thursday or Friday morning instead of Thursday. And we will not be getting any uh, USDA sales numbers here this morning. So uh, the uh, markets continue to be extremely volatile. Uh, China uh, will be back in looking for uh, doing business again as they come back from their week uh, holiday. We've got a USDA report on uh, Wednesday morning, the uh, supply demand report for October. Uh, trade is looking for an average there of uh, corn yield of 148.9. That's up from 148.1 that the USDA had in September. And the soybean estimate is 42 versus uh, 41.8. The USDA had in uh, September report. Uh, also, uh, the Southern Plains, the hard red wheat area, got rain uh, over the weekend, 100% coverage, anywhere from a half to uh, an inch and a half, uh, one to three inches in many areas, and then uh, some locally heavily heavy areas of four plus. So, uh, uh, finally, some rain uh, across that area. We've got another weather system moving. From west to east across the uh, the central U.S., uh, which should slow harvest this week. Last week we had uh, excellent harvest weather, and uh, trade will definitely be watching for those numbers here uh, tomorrow on this uh, crop progress report. In the livestock trade, uh, cutout values were mixed. The the cutout spread between choice and select is definitely a concern uh, here and. And also the packer margins uh, in cattle are a concern. They're deeply in the red, and uh, it's a matter of how long will that occur. So uh, that's uh, going to keep the uh, cattle trade in check here for a minute, we believe anyway, although expect uh, the livestock markets open steady higher today because of outside markets more than, uh, than fundamentals. We expect a pretty volatile week this week, a lot of things going on, so stay tuned to Allendale Research. We'll try to keep you informed the best we can. Uh, you can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.